Today on the On3 Roundtable, you know we're talking Auburn football. They just came off of a Big Cat weekend, recruiting weekend, and we're going to bring in Jeffrey Lee of Auburn Live. Jeffrey, man, there was some big news on Saturday. Perry Thompson flips his commitment from Alabama to Auburn, the six foot three five-star wide receiver is now an Auburn Tiger. How were they able to pull this off? Whew. High priority for Auburn. Hugh Freeze was absolutely involved. I feel like I'm a broken record when I talk about these big flips like Demarcus Riddick, but I'm, I'm telling you, Hugh, Hugh Freeze has been so much more involved than any head coach that I've seen, and probably you know, most of the head coaches in this country. He has said how important this 2024 class is to his success at Auburn. It was the same way at Ole Miss, and you go back and you look at his first full class at Ole Miss and included Laquan Treadmill, Treadwell, uh, Larry mm -hmm. Tunstall. So this was absolutely huge. He's been fully involved. And, you know, Auburn has has pushed this narrative to these kids to, to make your own legacy. You know, Perry is a, uh, from Foley, Alabama, home of Julio Jones, who went to Alabama, and uh, a lot of comparisons there for both of those guys. But Perry wanted to be himself wanted to make his own legacy and, uh, and flip to Auburn publicly, at least yesterday on Saturday. Yeah, I saw that sentiment in the Q&A that you guys had on Auburn Live with Perry Thompson shortly after that. His legacy was very important to him. So talk to Auburn fans for a second right now. What are they getting in Perry Thompson? Dynamic. Dynamic playmaker. A guy with size, a guy who's had success. You, you look at his build and his skill set and, and in the Hugh Freeze offense, Guys like that have had a lot of success and have made a lot of money in the NFL. Uh, he's just a guy who's going to be tough to cover one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, 50-50 balls. Uh, you know, he can do it all. He's the guy, he's that X wide receiver you want uh, in this offense, and Auburn was able to, to, to nail him down. And do you think that Hugh Freeze can sustain this? And what I mean is, you know, he kind of had slow rolled recruiting coming out of the gates, right? Like Auburn wasn't a top 10 recruiting class really until the summer months. So, is this something that Auburn fans need to get used to? The fact that Hugh Freeze is able to go out there and battle for any recruit against any other program? Not only Auburn fans, but but me too. I mean, you know, I've, I've been doubting. I, I didn't put in a prediction for DeMarcus Riddick until the day before. I didn't put yeah. in a prediction because I know how things go traditionally and historically for Auburn with in-state five-star kids. What he's done is open my eyes and give me more confidence in thinking that Auburn can land these guys. He just stole a five-star linebacker from Georgia. Three days later, he steals a five-star wide receiver, in-state kid from Alabama. That hasn't happened, Josh, not in my 20-plus years of covering Auburn recruiting. It's a absolutely new day in recruiting. And when you look back at, like I said, Ole Miss, uh, you know, his track record of recruiting is fantastic. This guy can recruit. He's always recruited well. And now the NIL is in place here at Auburn, and it seems to be everybody lined up on the same page, pushing in the right direction. Uh, it, it could be scary for other schools. Yeah, you're right. This is something that you got to get used to. This is something that I got to get used to. And everybody at the On3 Roundtable has been enjoying the – just the fireworks that have been taking place on the planes. Jeffrey Lee, thank you for stopping by, talking a big flip of Perry Thompson from Alabama to Auburn. Thanks, Josh. I appreciate you having me. Auburn fans, if you like this video, go check out all the content on auburnlive.com. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the On3 Roundtable.